Hey YouTube, welcome back. Tristan Blaze, Astro Empires, you know the game. What we got is we got two hits. Um, one hit was kind of just, this is the uh, the one hit that was kind of just a, um, this basically was just like a random occurrence. Uh, I'll show you how that happened in a second. <coughs> <coughs> Oh man, sorry. <coughs> oh man. Had a drink that went down the wrong freaking pipe, man. Holy crap. So anyways, here we have a uh, a base. And last time I checked it had no defenses and no fleet and it was around level f you got the got the guys able to be attacked, we'll just say that. <coughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called a scout tap. <coughs> <coughs> Last time I... Ah, pardon me. Last time I checked, he had nothing. Now, at the same time, this guy has no economy on the base. The economy is zero, so I mean, it's, it's not like I'm going to get a huge pillage. I'm not expecting even a pillage at this point in time. <coughs> yeah, and see, there it is right there. He's got six command centers on the base, though. If you're at this level, you start a base, you build a fleet. Like, you have a fleet there ready to go. Come on, start the attack. I'm not going to lose anything because the guy's got nothing to defend. And so you go, attacker conquered base, got zero credits in pillage probably. If this thing would load any slower, it'd be great. Yes, the attacker got zero credits for pillaging defender's base. But the, the most hilarious thing, I mean, it, it's a scout tap technically. And you can, you, if you catch somebody off guard without a fleet and without defenses, like really early on when they're building a base, dude, you piss them the fuck off because <coughs> it is so hilarious. Now, the actual attack is going to come here at uh, Axios. But what I want to do is... I'm going to post that to the battle board, obviously. And I'm going to post that to my guild's uh, battle board in a second. What I want to do is I want to show you what I've been doing outside of just some regular, um, you know, consolidating what I have. Number one... I'm pulling my fleet back from Jack Burton. It's 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 not a drain on resources. I make way more money off of the guy than I could even fathom losing in a battle against him. So I've pulled a lot of my stuff off of his um off of his bases, except for just like a couple of random fighters here or there that I just you know, I just can't take him with anything. And what I've been doing is I've just been sending scout ships all over all over the place just scout ships left and right there's there's a scout ship that I had right there I got a target there target there and I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just doing blocks I'm, I'm just scouting in just whole blocks and I'm just like going through the entire galaxy to get eyes on everything seen a couple of um, smaller players there's a one person guild I think around here and it's the um, it's a COE guild. It's called Coalition of Empires, and I think he's in one of these um, areas. I, I I don't know exactly where, but it's a one person guild, mind you. And one person guilds are very 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 bad. It's very 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 bad to be a one person guild. No one really has your back, and at the same time. A larger guild of say even like five or ten people who actually know what they're doing, like five or ten person guild who knows what they're doing, they're not going to want to ally with you. They're going to see you as like lunch. Oh, you're a one person guild, and nobody has nobody has your back. So no one worried 
So like, so like no one's going to mind if we like just, you know, gangbang you real quick, right? Yeah, no one's going to mind. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, where are your bases? Yeah, we'll protect you. And it's the same thing with Lord of War. So anyways, I'll I'll find the guy in a second. <coughs> I'll I'll find the guy offline and I'm I'm going to shoot the guy a message anyways. So I'm going to just pop that on the battle board. And I, I just started, like, I just started this um, reconnaissance run earlier. I, I, like, I just started it. And um, that's what I'm doing. You see all of these fleets, you know, they're coming back. <coughs> but that's, that's basically just what a scout tap is. That attack right there is just, here's the base, here's the scout, boom, there you go. There, 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 there are um, players, and see here we go, all the um, the occupations and stuff. Oh, by the way, the research commander at David Lopan, I killed. Um, when I was doing my daily pillages, I just, I pillaged it, and they said, boom, commander, I think it was Alvin Tao, whatever the fuck, you know, was killed. Like, whoa. I'm just going to type in Scout Tap for the lulls. Scout Tap for the lulls. Because seriously, it is, it is just hilarious to just catch someone like that. You have, you have six, six command centers and no fleet over your base. That is, to me, the most hilarious crap that could possibly happen. Okay. Um, I have increased my, um, uh, the last tech I was researching finished, um, and I started, I switched, um, AI, I didn't research AI, I researched Stellar Drive to give the non-warp vessels faster speed, and then I just put AI back on, so boom, there we go, we got another level of AI, I'm expanding this base again, uh, I'm going to throw another trade route in. So there's um, five more command centers, bringing the base economy to 164. Again, trans 500. Once that P-ring is done, which is 300 hours away probably, once it gets started, mind you, <coughs> oh man, there's been some type of like stomach bug running around this place too. It's like half my daughter's class has been like absent for the last couple of days or something. So we got warp after AI, which is about two days off. Then armor, then energy, then plasma. I would go another level of tachyon, but I don't really need another level of tachyon. Because I don't have the other base. Um... I'd like to go a higher photon. I really would, but you know, going higher photon right now isn't really a priority. I mean, it, it does help my P rings, it does help my dreadnoughts, but I'm switching more into uh, Titans for offensive duty. Once I get the uh, P ring started at Trans 500, I'll just more than likely what I'll what I'll do is I'll grab a, I'll probably save up and grab a new base but I'll still be doing a couple of hits here and there um let's see missiles will be the slowest thing to or fastest thing to research so I'm gonna build um Stronger frigates, of course. Better armor. Uh, after... No, I'm sorry. Plasma will be the fastest to... Re no, I'm already researching. I got that in queue already. Okay. Uh, yeah, missiles. Then, more than likely, another level of... Uh, laser. Then another level of ion. Once I hit ion 15, dude, those ion bombers are going to be just brutal. 
ion frigate, ion bombers are going to be brutal, dude. I'll just start, I'll, I'll start taking down bases with like multiple P rings with those if I have enough of them. I mean, I'll lose a lot, but I mean, shit, <laughs> it'll be fun. How far off are we here? Four minutes off. Okay. So, basic priority is to finish all the P rings, which of course they're getting finished. Uh, I'm going to even out the um, structures on uh, Devil's T-Girls, get up to Metal 24, Robotic 20, and then uh, I think Nanite 11 and Android 7 will be there. And then pretty much just even out a lot of the structures on all the all the bases, make them pretty much cost roughly the same, which will also even out my production capacity. I got, ooh, I got 10 minutes till shipyards are done. Damn. That's coming up fast. Because, I mean, these are my two new bases, and they're, they're just pumping stuff out left and right. See, here's, here's the goal. The goal is to have 24 metal refineries, 20 robotic factories, because the cost at 14K a piece, well, like 14 and a half, 14, 8, is... <clears throat> hi, hi, little guy. Want to come up here and sit on my lap? Come here. Come, come here, little kid. Come here. Come, come here. Loose up her. Come here. Ah, I got ya. Uh, yeah, you can't see, but I got the little loose up her. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to put up the Nanite factory and then another Android. So there's going to be another four, ten, another ten to production. I'm putting up the level 20 shipyards. And then I'm going to go just orbital shipyard. And, and th th then it's just rotating shipyard, orbital shipyard, back and forth until you have the ability to build Titans, which is going to be nuts, having two bases to build Titans. But... You need the economy to support that. I have the economy to support that, which is good. However, that does mean I'm probably going to have to get rid of my Dreadnought fleet now. Uh, just keep the Dreadnoughts for base defense. In terms of total construction capacity, I finally broke 311 at Devils. 300 at yum 296 at seduction and these don't even have the ability to produce um, dreadnoughts yet they don't and they're they're higher than these bases that can produce dreadnoughts so once I get the uh, 20th shipyard and that orbital shipyard built oh man these things are gonna be brutal dude these things are just going to be, these are going to be brutal. They're going to be like, they're going to be like 300, 311, you know, shit like that. And it's just going to be like, yeah, man. <clears throat> Especially now with my cybernetic tech getting higher. It's just going to be so fun. I got... Uh, let's see, I need two more shipyards, an orbital shipyard here, two more and an orbital shipyard there. Plus, even out all the production, even out all the um, construction buildings. Need a shipyard, two orbital shipyards there. So, I mean, I got just, I mean, it's, that, that, all that is just what's going to happen later. I'd like to get... I'd, I'd like I, I'd like to be able to produce you know Titans here and or dreadnoughts and Titans on these bases, but this is this is my main research base. It's earthly. It doesn't have the metal two. Same thing with crystalline right here. It doesn't have metal two. This one here is tundra. It or, or so this one here is tundra. It has metal two. And you look, there's not a very big amount. You see that a two eighteen. 226 they're not good for production man they're not so I'm probably just going to put this base up with four more shipyards so I could build a battleship here because that's what I'm gonna need of course plus more economic centers more crystal mines more spaceports and boop we are here and we're here we're gonna kick some ass <laughs> Seven minutes off for the recyclers.
No, we're not moving. We're attacking. I'm hoping to have around a 3,500 economy once my scouting is done. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Branch chain aminos. Kick some ass. <coughs> so I'm hoping to have the um, a 3,500 economy once I finish scouting the whole galaxy and plotting out who I'm going to hit. Once I hit them again, I've got a few a few players. The two hits that I've um, set up right now, they're actually uh, active players. And they're gilded. So, you know, it's not like it's going to be a walk in the park technically. I'm expecting somewhat of a fight. Not like a massive fight, but somewhat of a fight. Okay? And this is, this is probably just going to one-shot the whole damn base. Probably only going to grab maybe 2 to 3K on the pillage, but I'm not worried about it. It's the hourly income that really helps. And Yep, there we go. Uh, I lost 5K. So I lost 5K in fleet, and oh shit, I just made a profit already, never mind. And I got the 2K in debris, so... I got the recyclers already on duty for that. They're coming in. <coughs> 33 to the economy per hour. Yes, thank you. I wanted that. So when you got a Titan, man, it just absorbs so much punishment. And I want like a fleet of like 10 of them so I can just run through like the galaxy and just titan smash bases and have like you know two three thousand you know fucking recyclers on standby and just oh harvest the derb fuck you harvest the derb and fuck you and then just leave just leave like one fighter and i'm out leave one fighter i'm out of yo all right, so we're going to bring our fleets back. I got like, I, I think I have like 40 or something scouts left, or no, 30 something scouts left that I haven't even used. I got like an ass load of fleet. I have like an ass load of just anything. Uh, 21, 21, leave my one fighter back. Because, I mean, boom, all those bases. And the thing is, with Jack Burton, I have kept his, I, I did re-bookmark all the bases. <laughs> There's, um, that guy lost in space, he's inactive. Uh, Stina is gilded, that's why I've marked it with ASE. Because they are a, uh, a rather big guild. I mean, Jack Burton was gilded, but, I mean, I have... I, me alone personally I have half the fleet his entire guild has so I'm not really worried about the guild I'm not you know they want to come at me they got to come at me with everything because my defenses are just too good for them I'm not saying my defenses are too good for anybody no 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 a determined attacker will be able to take a base of mine easily They will. A very determined attacker could easily take a base out. Put that on the board. And we're done. So I'm going to come back more than likely come back tomorrow with a hit on uh, Lost in Space, or maybe maybe I'll just hit Stina. I'm not 100%. Um, I'm still scouting various regions, so we'll see what we're going to do. So, until then, like, comment if you like the game, subscribe, or you know, join my guild in E06, because if you don't, I will find you, and I will occupy all of your shit. You've seen me do that with two separate players. 
So trust me on this. I will occupy your shit. Peace out.